some people changing their eating habits, whether it's what they buy at the grocery store or if they decide to dine out at their favorite restaurant. Restaurant owners have to not only adapt to their customers' tighter budgets, but also the rising costs of doing business. WMAR 2 News' Mark Roper is live outside of Jimmy's Seafood in southeast Baltimore. So, Mark, the price of Maryland crab is expected to go up this season. How are the people at Jimmy's Seafood going to be managing those higher costs? Yeah, good morning, Megan. You know, just as many people are making adjustments in their own personal budgets and spending, the people here at Jimmy's Famous Seafood, they're also always looking for deals with their vendors as well as making changes to their menu so they can still offer their customer a variety of things no matter what the market price of crab is. Eating at Jimmy's Famous Seafood is a tradition for many families, whether they come from Dundalk, Baltimore City, or even San Diego, California, like Gary Allen. Every time we come out here, we make it a point to come down here and, and eat. And when in Maryland, whether it's crab cakes or crab legs, people come to eat crab. The wholesale price of crab is expected to go up for restaurant owners like Jimmy's Famous Seafood's John Minadakis. But unlike other products impacted directly by inflation, there are additional factors which could affect the cost of crab. We've heard it all. We've heard it from, you know, Russia uh, to people not being willing to work. Uh, to not having a great catch out on the water, to not having uh, visas. It's, we, you know, we've heard every excuse, but nobody really seems to be able to answer it directly. We just uh, have to pay what they tell us to pay and uh, make adjustments. The Chesapeake Bay Seafood Industries Association blames a labor shortage of about 500 to 600 crab pickers because of a limit on H-2B visas. Experts warn, without those workers, it could cause a 90% drop in production and a big jump in price this crab season. Governor Larry Hogan has urged Maryland's congressional delegation to raise the cap on H-2B guest worker visas. Meanwhile, the executive director of the Chesapeake Bay Seafood Industries Association says it's too difficult to tell how high prices could go this year, but believes buyers will pay a premium for Maryland blue crab if they can get it. It's just part of the game. Uh, you know, and, you know, today it's crab meat, next week it'll be lobster, and a week after that it'll be beer bottles. You never know, but, you know, you just got to survive and adapt. Because in Maryland, people still want their crab. So, if you only have 20 bucks to spend on lunch, you know, we make a uh, crab cake slider, for example, instead of, you know, the full crab cake. You know, we lower prices of certain alcohols. To, so you're still, if you have 30 bucks for lunch, you're still going to be able to have what you want to have. Minidakis recognizes his customers might be making some adjustments of their own as the market price of crab goes up. We're very fortunate to have a very passionate and loyal fan base. And, you know, maybe sometimes instead of coming here four times a month, they're coming three times a month. But... Uh, they're still making it a point to support not only us, but small businesses throughout the state. Such as this health care worker who isn't bothered by the threat of rising prices. I don't have time to wait till I get home to grab a sandwich or, you know, we try to unpack a lunch in the car. So when we're going from facility to facility and making sure that patients are getting coordinated for home, this is the last thing I'm worried about is that cost. But what I do like is that I can crab in the Severn River with a chicken neck and a string and get my own crabs if I need to. Now, experts tell us they expect the demand for crab to be high this season, but Economics 101 tells us that, you know, if the demand is high but the supply is still low, that still means rising prices for restaurant owners and their customers. Reporting live in southeast Baltimore, Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News. All right, Mark, and yeah, Maryland crab season does start in April, so isn't Maryland crab cheaper than, say, getting it from southern states or even other countries? Yeah, you would think with crab season just being around the corner that we could be looking for some lower prices. But again, it comes back to supply and demand. So, yes, they can get that crab from other parts of the country. But Maryland crab is cheaper because they don't have to pay to ship it. And they also, it's fresher because, you know, they don't lose that time in shipping. But they don't have those workers. It still comes back to supply and demand, which still means higher prices for all of us who love crab. Yeah.